Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 9th, 2019. So everyone, I hope you had a great evening. We had kind of a um, little bit of a turmoil last night in the futures, and we're looking at a little bit of a lower open this morning um, as uh, fear Fear about um, what the Fed may or may not do seems to be the predominant um, concern here this morning. And we have uh, the Fed chairman stepping up to start his three-day testimony at the at Congress today. So um, we'll have to uh, kind of keep an eye on that as we go throughout the morning. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at what this means this morning. Just taking a look at um, the overall market. Right now we're looking at a gap down this morning. Uh, futures gapping a little bit lower here in the diamonds. And you can see that we're pulling back, pulling back to a level of price support in the chart. So I don't see any problem here with this at all in this pullback, as long as we don't get real serious here and, and start dropping through some very important levels. But I think rest or pullback in here um, actually um, is, a, is a good thing. It gives us an opportunity to test those supports and then maybe see if there's enough energy to move us on higher. So not particularly concerned about this as long as we can start holding on to some of these price levels in the chart and hanging in there if we really start slipping hard the the major place that we're going to have to be concerned about is if we break down um through you know major levels of support here and actually fail through the 50. i think any rest or consolidation above the 50-day moving average uh continues to show strength in the market and there's nothing in this price action currently that suggests we'll even come remotely close to that occurring. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, of course, if we were to get news that the FOMC has decided or are shaky about the possibility of cutting any interest rate, then we could see the market sell off significantly. As you know, the market uh, and that that created this big rally the market was um, really speculating heavily on a 50 basis point cut now that 50 basis point cut has been uh, tremendously diminished there's a, a, a in fact there's a growing um, concern that there may not be a cut at all because of the very strong jobs number uh, last friday I still think there is the possibility that we could get that 25 basis point cut because I, Powell doesn't want to disappoint the market. But boy, I think there's no certainty in that uh, just yet. And that's why the market has these little bit of jitters right now. Um, overall, even Kramer uh, came out yesterday, I guess, and chimed in on the subject. Not that that matters, but chimed in on the subject that he's not sure Powell will cut. So th that is creating a little bit of um, angst in the market, a little bit of worry and concern that there may not be that rate cut. Now, uh, you know, let's put that in pr into perspective. Um, the rate cut remember, is really kind of a defense mechanism if we believe the economy is weak or we um, are hoping for a weak economy. Um, I don't know why we would be hoping for a weak economy. And, and to me, strong jobs number means a good economy. And um, that gives me overall confidence in the market. So I don't need a rate cut to give me confidence in the market as long as jobs continue to grow. So kind of keep that in mind as as we toss around here waiting for that news. Um, let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Um, SPY also pulling back this morning and giving us a little bit of a pause here in this big rally in the market, but no, no major concern yet. And I think any pullback that holds above um, levels here in the chart like that, I think we're in pretty good shape. So 
for example, if we pull back into here, that doesn't worry me uh, significantly significantly um, in this chart just yet. Just a normal um, ebb and flow of a market. We move up, we pull back to test support. And so you can see pulling back down here this morning, a little bit of a gap down. Um, no big, um, no big whoop here, just a little bit of rest in the market. And I really think that's what we're going to see is more of a choppiness, a, cho a resting period in the market as we wait for the kickoff of um, earnings season. Now, of course, any news report about potential rate cuts whether they will or they won't won't can certainly move the market and we should be aware of those th those th things and paying attention to uh, the price action that can result from that but um i think uh, the i think it's unlikely the fed is going to reveal anything new and we'll have to wait um for their decision just like uh, normal and um, we'll be waiting for the kickoff of earnings season, maybe to really engender some movement here in the market. Let's take a look um, at the queues. Queues getting a pullback again this morning. Now, queues uh, largely affected yesterday by a downgraded Apple, and there is some serious concerns um, about tech and whether or not they're going to be able to produce um, earnings sufficient to justify current prices and there is some major concern about that and right now the queues um, having a little bit of a double top pattern here um, does bring a little bit of pause and if i had a concern about an index it would be this one right now and i want you to recognize it's really no different than the pattern that showed up over here and you can see the resulting um, action that came in in there hopefully that doesn't occur here but as you can see there's that same type of pattern that could be forming here and just that little bit of concern um, in the chart now having said that I will say that I think any hold um, above you know probably right in here we still remain bullish in the chart. So a pullback into here and a bounce, um, no worries um, on that at all. A little more concern if we drop down into this area. But right now, I don't see that, and I don't see that energy to just sell off. Um, the bulls are still largely in control here. And, you know, think about it. If we draw a little trend line up in here and we pull back into this area, there's no problem with this chart at all. So kind of keep that in mind. We've got a little bit of concern here, but there's no reason to be panicking and running for the doors. Take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has been my biggest concern, continues to be my biggest concern of the four indexes. And that is because of this long-term downtrend. We have just struggled and struggled and struggled here on IWM. Now, we are in a little current uptrend. So we, we're building this little wedge pattern in here. And as this wedge pattern continues to tighten, we'll have to watch and wait. Will it break higher? Will it break lower? Can't really tell you um, on that, but it is worthy of watching. And yesterday, um, IWM just you know made a decision to go lower and we're pushing um, that decision a little bit lower this morning and notice we have these support levels here in the chart if that gives up we could have a little bit more trouble here in IWM so let's keep an eye on that I think IWM is the weakest of the indexes at the moment let's take a look at the VIX the VIX um, showed just a little tiny bit of fear yesterday in the selling picking up just a little bit here and my big worry in the VIX is that we're starting to show some complacency in, in the market, that we have no fear at all that the market can fall. But um, I, I don't think that's true. I think there is a possibility of some stress ahead, considering um, all of the uh, warnings that uh, have been coming out about the future earnings uh, missing expectations. So right now we're in this current downtrend here on the VIX. And if we hold this level of price support in here, what are we doing? 
we're forming another one of those wedge patterns. We could wa rally around in here, um, uh, wind around in here and stay here for some time. So no particular concern right now at this point, but we definitely want to keep an eye on the VIX in case that fear does start to creep in and um, we start to see us breaking uh, maybe the, this current downtrend um, in the chart. That would be a bit of a concern. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday is a little bit of selling or consolidation. Excuse me, consolidation is what I would call it. We really didn't do much of anything but just kind of rest and consolidate, um, chop around yesterday. And um, you can see we've pulled back just slightly here in T2122. Uh, and that does open up a door for more upside potential, but it also gives us that big open door for downside. It doesn't really tell us direction here. It just tells us that we may have stretched this rally a little bit too far too fast and we may just need a rest so a consolidation is is as good as a pullback in t2122 if we just rest do that rest and consolidation and pullback and um, that will open up more upside potential so good quality um, consolidation is nothing to fear um, obviously we always want to see markets just moving higher but a good rest in the market can actually help us set up really good opportunity uh, to trade. So don't fear that consolidation if that is what's going on right now. And I think it probably is just that rest, that uncertainty period ahead of uh, the kickoff of earnings season. And, and I think we probably should expect that to continue. And particularly up until Wednesday afternoon when we get the release of the FOMC minutes. And of course, Jerome Powell's testimony could certainly um, move that um, around, but we'll have to wait and see. And speaking of that, let's take a look at our economic calendar here today. Economic calendar, you can see we have Jerome Powell. He kicks off his testimony at 845 this morning. We have uh, James Bullard is going to be speaking around 10. We have the jobs report today. That's probably the only thing on uh, the economic calendar as far as uh, an economic report to move the market and everything else is going to be all about the FOMC and um, the discussion around that today. So Jerome Powell definitely is the biggest potential mover of the market today. So let's keep an eye on his testimony in Congress. On the earnings calendar, we have over 20 companies that were reporting earnings today. Um, I don't see a whole lot of potential that um, we move the market around based on these earnings, but a few earnings to pay attention to um, AYI, AYI reporting this morning. Again, uh, you know, don't expect a, a big movement here. Uh, Jeffries um, is supposed to be reporting today and SMPL um, uh, reporting today. These, these are not the kind of companies that really move the market around. And as those earnings continue to roll out, we'll just have to, you know, pay attention to what's going on there and uh, be a little bit careful about um, how that market is going to react. So watch that closely, but nothing major here going on at all um, on that earnings calendar. Let's take a look um, at a, well, before I talk, talk about a few charts that may be setting up, let's, um, let me take a second here and ask you for your help and uh, for your kindness to click that subscribe button on uh, YouTube. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, make sure and click that subscribe button and also click the thumb, uh, the, the little bell icon that uh, pops up um, so that you'll be notified every time I turn one of these videos out. Remember, the purpose of these videos is just really to help everyone do a better job of preparation for the day. Thinking about the different aspects of the market, avoiding the emotion of that market, and just really kind of focusing in um, on those trades. 
and um, being a little bit more cautious, cautious to um, what's actually going on. Um, so focus in on that just a little bit, be a little bit careful about your trading and um, it just helps. I, I know this is one of the big things that helped me in my trading all along is just that preparation, that that quiet time in the morning to kind of prepare how I want to approach for the, uh, the day. If you find this helpful, please do me that favor and subscribe. And then also click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Any, any, any comment that you leave, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. Thank you so much to those of you who do that. You guys mean the world to me. Um, it's helping the, the channel grow. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you very much. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. You know, there's a couple of charts that I really, really like that are setting up nicely in a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout pattern. The rounded bottom breakout pattern is that stock that's been very oversold for a period of time and now it's starting to round itself back up and notice those moving averages starting to round themselves back up and we have this beautiful setup here on CenturyLink nice tight consolidation as we kind of slide over here toward the trend and you can see this pink line anytime you see a pink line on my chart that is a potential price alert that I'm waiting for this stock to show signs that it's ready to go. This would be a relatively low risk entry into a trade and we should be keeping an eye on CTL um, in my opinion. And remember, anytime I post a stock or talk about a stock here in this video, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. It's just merely um, an idea that could be setting up and I'm watching it for a potential trade. CTL is one of those trades. Another one that's forming in that same pattern, a roundabout and breakout pattern here is WBA. You can see WBA breaking above that 50 day moving average, rounding that uh, bottom out and trying to show signs of some strength. Now WBA is consolidating and moving its way over here toward the current trend. I would be watching this anywhere in here for that possibility of that pop-up. And then we have the opportunity of filling this gap to the upside. So keep an eye on WBA looking pretty good overall. Um, in the chart. Let's take a look at BBY, Best Buy. Now Best Buy tried to make a go of it yesterday, it made a pop up here. I, I mentioned it to a lot of folks um, in RWO yesterday about that trade, but I never took that position. And the reason I didn't is because it's still away from its trend. I usually wait for uh, that really good clear signal um, on a trade and it has to be responding to support resistance or trend and you can see as we kind of chop sideways here moving over toward that trend that's where I might be looking for that opportunity and Best Buy might want to keep an eye on that chart. Another chart that could be setting up in that same way is um, STZ. STZ kind of breaking its downtrend here, respecting price support respecting trend and I think maybe this could also continue to slide sideways here just a little bit waiting for that market energy to finally pop and move higher so keep that in mind STZ could be setting up here and certainly one to pay attention to and watch and there's lots of those kind of charts out there right now we're starting to see that consolidating price action really starting to build in to the market. Now you guys know that I have mentioned for some time now the possibilities of Target. Target continuing to move up looking good here. Target showing strength and um, anyone that's in Target, congrats, um, you're, you're looking good on that trade. I, another one that you might want to be paying attention to is Snap. Snap after kind of a, a an ugly little consolidation here that resolved itself down to the trend notice we've popped right back up breaking through my alert here and now holding up in this area any little rest um, these little doji candles any little rest up in here could certainly trigger some additional upside in snap so you might want to keep an eye on that chart um, as well 
looking pretty good overall. Um, I did see, um, let's see, what was the other stock I want to do? Um, Avon. A Avon has been dancing around here in a long consolidation, and it's pretty normal um, on these little guys that we get these nice move up, and then we get these longer consolidations. But Avon could still be setting up here for that upside move. Let's watch for that, um, holding on to this overall trend. See if that can continue to move itself on up. That's one I've been talking about for a while. And last but not least today that I'm going to talk about is JCI. And you can see here's these just trending patterns, and um, you know they're. One of the rules that I've traded by, one of the things that turned my trading around years and years ago, is when I finally stopped trying to pick bottoms and pick tops and all of that stuff, the only thing I, I really am concerned myself with first in a chart is, is the chart trending? If I can find a trending chart and just wait for the next entry into the trade, all of a sudden, my trading started to turn around. I started to make consistent money in the market because I, I stopped predicting. I just wait for a trending chart wait for the next entry into that trend and allow that trend to move us up. And I've talked about JCI here multiple times and I was watching this level, that pink line was an alert. You can see pull back to the trend, moving on up, consolidate, moving on up, and we're doing it up here. So we've hit another resistance level in the chart on JCI, possibility of this rest or consolidation over here toward the trend, and more upside possibly coming in the chart. So keep that in mind when you're looking at charts. Look for those good trending charts that are holding stable, and then just wait for the next entry into the trade. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Once again, if this is the first time you've seen these, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you've seen these before, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. That helps out a ton. Thank you everyone who does that. We'll see you all bright and early Wednesday morning. I wish you all great success today. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.